Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between transfer dock and non-transfer dock plasma torch. Thermal plasma is the ionic form of matter that is obtained by heating suitable gas to a very high temperature. In transfer dock plasma torch, the workpiece is made an integral part of the electrical circuit. Therefore, the positive terminal of the DC power source is connected to the workpiece. While the electrode remains connected with the negative terminal, the transfer dark plasma torch is also known as direct arc plasma torch as electrical connection is made directly between the electrode and workpiece, the problem with this arrangement arises when the workpiece is not electrically conductive. In such cases, the copper nozzle is connected to the positive terminal, or anode, of the DC power source, while no connection is made with the workpiece. Such an arrangement is known as non-transfer dark plasma torch or indirect arc plasma torch. Here electric arc forms between the electrode and the nozzle. So, let's look into the basic differences between transfer dark and non-transfer dark plasma torch in a tabular form. Difference number 1, in transfer dark plasma torch, the electric arc is constituted between an electrode and the workpiece. However, an auxiliary arc is established between the electrode and nozzle at the beginning of the work for a very short period, whereas, in non-transfer dark plasma torch, the electric arc is constituted between an electrode and the nozzle, and the same arc is continued for the entire operation. Number 2, in transfer dark plasma torch, the workpiece is made anode, positive terminal of DC power source, whereas the nozzle is kept electrically neutral. Cathode is always a copper electrode, but, in non-transfer dark plasma torch, the workpiece is kept electrically neutral, whereas nozzle is made anode. As usual, cathode is always a copper electrode. Number 3. Direct arc plasma torch can be applied to electrically conductive workpieces only, whereas, indirect arc plasma torch can be applied to every workpiece regardless of electrical conductivity. However, it is preferred for non-conducting materials. Number 4. Direct arc has relatively higher electrothermal efficiency, from 85 to 95 percent, whereas, indirect arc has comparatively low electrothermal efficiency, from 65 to 75 percent. Number 5. Direct arc is overwhelmingly used for machining, or cutting, welding, hard facing, remelting, and spraying. Whereas, indirect arc is preferred for flame spraying, spheroidizing heat treatment, or processing, etc. And, difference number 6, transfer dark plasma torch is also known as direct arc plasma torch because the arc is maintained directly between the electrode and workpiece, whereas, non-transfer dark plasma torch is also known as indirect arc plasma torch because the arc is not maintained between the electrode and workpiece though the workpiece receives the heat.